Hello everyone! Welcome to my vlog! It's Monday. Today I have been at my office all day and I promised I was like, I'm gonna vlog while I'm there. And did I do that? I didn't. That's okay because I'm gonna vlog some right now. It's like six o'clock. Ty just left. He went to dinner with one of his good friends and I have the house to myself because Erin's going out with her girlfriends tonight. We're gonna organize. Also, I just got a package in from Scrunchie and Conair and they sent me all this stuff. And I'm really excited about that because I always buy stuff like this whenever I'm at Target. So now I'm just like, I gotta restock like on everything. These look nice. Little headbands, no slip grip. So thanks guys, thank you. So we're in my closet because I really wanna go through my fragrance drawer and I've showed this to you guys before, but it was a long time ago. I did like a fragrance clean out situation. Well, I kinda wanna go through it again because it's super, super full again and I really need to get rid of some stuff. Also, this is like my most used fragrances tray so i have a lot in here i kind of want to put some down into the drawer this is one i just bought i've been enjoying it so has aaron we've used a ton of it it smells so good it's the intense by mark jacobs and this is the gisu i use this for my hair it's like a hair perfume Ugh, it smells so fresh kind of like honey <sighs> like i need to put this back like you gotta go back girl you've had your time you're done it's not something i use every day so it can go in the drawer i don't like clutter i just got this one in from charlie d'amelio it's really sweet and it smells very pretty one of my faves she knows she's staying five stars i'm gonna put my glossier back glossier because i love it it's like don't even have that much left have a little bit actually no i have like half the bottle all right we're not doing bad but i don't use it every day right now these need to be dusted as well this is my fall time one by the fireplace so good it smells like a marshmallowy fireplace this is coffee break it's also a warm winter scent and then there's also autumn vibes which is nice and spicy this is so good this is kendall jenner's and i loved it loved it loved it it was really good should I put it back now? Mm, let me marinate on that. Um, I've used a lot of this. This is Beach Walk. It's a very nice summery scent. Very fresh, airy. Smells like salt and sand sunscreen. We love Libre. She's gonna stay. This is a good one. This one's definitely more unisex, but I love it. Why is everything so dusty? Actually, my bathroom, my bathroom renovation made everything dusty. This is the springtime scent. Springtime in the park. It's like florally so sexy this is like when i go out date night stuff i think miss opium's going back this smells really delicious i'm still gonna wear it and use these you know i'm a fragrance fanatic kind of so i'm just gonna keep these and then i'll keep these to the side because she's my every day right now until i get tired of her okay drawer time oh this is a wreck you guys were like didn't you get rid of a bunch of these last time and look we're back when brands do be sending me scents so it kind of like fills it up but i want to reorganize this then i have these bins that have like purse accessories oh that one has moisturizers my bad Ooh. okay dramatic but these have my backup moisturizers in them body moisturizers in here this doesn't close anymore so i also have some body butters in here backup and this is the one that has like my purse accessories in it so i kind of want to rearrange this drawer hey what are you doing i was wondering if i could use some daisy there she is we were just talking about it <laughs> yeah this is the new one if you didn't see from the last vlog that me well that laura bought but oh the, i'm getting good lighting oh you're getting good lighting <laughs> oh it smells so good she, she, you put on a lot of fragrance. Uh huh. You don't normally do that little. I do four. Erin, I know you do more than four. Mm -mm. I do one, two, three, four. I do. Depends on the perfume. Sometimes I'll do the back. Of my Sometimes I'll well. do five as well. Yeah. I just mm. like to get all in there. Oh, I wish you guys could smell me. I know. Girl, I know I'd be smelling Maybe good. Maybe we'll have that feature one day. Maybe. Hopefully. Anyways, I'm about to head off to the beach. Have Miss fun. Lee's about to have the house to herself tonight. Ooh. Some spooky things are about to happen. Aaron. I'm playing. Aaron. Have fun. That's because construction, you know. We're almost done with the bathroom. I kind of want to show you all a sneak peek. I'll show you a sneak peek. This is the only sneak peek I can actually give you is these gorgeous, gorgeous soft matte tiles because everything else is covered because they're painting. So I can't even show you any more <laughs> any more of the bathroom. Anyways, we're going to clean out this drawer right here. I dread it. I dread it. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. All 
these samples from Dim Tea Car, but we're about to investigate. officially empty we're about to uh, wipe that out but here is our tragic mess and this is what we're going to decide what we're going to keep and give away pick what stays but first I want to put the bins back in I'm gonna add my backup moisturizers okay now it's the hard part I never know what I want to get rid of I actually think I want to get rid of this someone else should use this not me I wore this for an entire fashion week I stayed in New York for a week straight and I wore this every day I was there and that's all I can think of. And so I think I'm done with it. Oh wait, it smells so good. Okay, now I don't know. Maybe I'll get rid of it. I'm gonna put a maybe pile now. I'm sorry, coach. I'm gonna get rid of you. I deserve to go to a better home. This one smells so good. I thought I was gonna get rid of it. I think it's Batty. Is Batty the one I don't love? I'm gonna get rid of Batty. I think I'm gonna get rid of the Gardenia Crystal from KKW. I'm gonna let this one go called Invite Only. I'm gonna let it go. My Miss Dior has changed colors because I didn't wear it. But it has my name on it, so it makes me feel like I should keep it. I used to wear this guest one all the time, but I think I'm gonna let it go. This little bitty fresh one, I'm gonna let go. This one I'm not obsessed with, and I feel really bad about that. It kind of reminds me of licorice. It smells, it's not like a nasty smell. Like it smells good it's just like not my vibe so it's also this huge ass packaging it's so heavy i'll say the packaging's like nice but baby that's big i think i have two flower bomb oh this one's ruby or orchard okay they're different oh that smells good we have mark jacobs daisy i love this packaging this is the new armani it smells really fresh armani my way gucci guilty okay i got rid of a bunch now we're gonna put some of them back with better organization. did investigating these are mini scents but this is the only one that I liked it smelled really good it's an interesting smell to it so I'm gonna keep this one to try to remember it if I ever if I'm ever in diptyque or want to get a candle from them I'll remember this scent but here is our drawer reveal it looks so much better I try to group these by like you know, if I have two of the same brand, obviously I don't have two of the same fragrance, but they're by the same brand. And then over here just gets a little hairy, but this looks so much better. I'm getting rid of all of this. My minis here, we have space, body stuff, and accessories, and we, ah, it looks so good. Laura's kidnapped me. Kidnapping. She loves doing this. She'll be like, let's go get breakfast. And all of a sudden, we've gone to a grocery store. We're at TJ Maxx. We're going to TJ Maxx. We're going to Trader Joe's. <laughs> and, and a car wash. Well, the car is embarrassingly dirty. I need you to help me vacuum it out at the car wash. Let's get it, dude. All right. Wow. Quick little breakfast moment in the drive-thru. Yep. In the car wash, drive-thru car, car wash. Car. 
Oh. Again. Hotcakes and sausage. Yummy. It'll do. I get the burritos. They probably can't hear a word we're saying. Erin's cooking lunch for us today. I'm cooking lunch. She's making baked fried chicken. Mm. Baked fried chicken. Betty Crocker taught us how to do this. So this is egg and water, salt and pepper. Yes. It goes in just regular flour first, then the egg and water mixture, and then this is Parmesan cheese and bread crumbs. So it gets mm. three layers. Add to a baking sheet with some spray, cooking spray, and then we're gonna bake that for 15 to 20 minutes on 450. Yep. And then I'm gonna cook some rice. Pop some rice in here. Ty's working on some chassés. We never do lunches like this, by the way. This is very not normal for us. This is more like a dinner. This is more like a dinner for us. Yeah. Mom. But we're doing it for lunch today because I'm hungry and I'm so tired of eating takeout. the oven now and I'll let you know how this works out for us. It's just sades. We're gonna blister these a little bit and the rice is on. Things are happening. The rice is done. The chicken's crispy and we already ate most of the chassades. Those get destroyed in this household. <laughs> yeah. Now we're just gonna have this with a... Uh, I'm gonna add a few tomatoes. How would you say lunch was? Uh, 10 out of 10. Really delicious. Very yummy. There's only one thing I would do. What? I would add pepper flakes because I feel like it could use like a touch of spice. I ended up dipping mine in some sauce because it was a little bit bland. Yeah, but besides that, I mean, it was so good. It was so good. So that was a really fancy lunch for us. We never really have lunch that fancy, but. Girl, I no. Like, I like put that much effort into our lunch, but. Okay. Now I'm about to go film some stuff. Hello vlog family. So I am going, I'm in Brentwood today and I'm going to, oh, my hair stuck in my necklace. Oh my. I'm going to um, eat lunch with my manager and uh, I need to pay this meter before I get a ticket. So I'll probably see you guys after lunch. I definitely thought I was going to be able to vlog more than what I was able to vlog today. I was not successful in my vlogs today but it got really busy and i wasn't sure if i was gonna be able to vlog much and as it turns out my suspicions were correct we're coming back with nudie patootie on the 19th which is next friday um august 19th and i'm so excited but it's a lot of little things we gotta finish up and we're trying to get everything ready for the shoot next week. I have two photo shoots next week, back to back days. I'm trying to get myself to ready for that. And I had a meeting with my manager and then I came home and had to finish up. Filming, I filmed. I filmed talking about Nudie Patootie and what's going on there and explained everything. So I filmed that and then I had to do some little this, little that emails for some stuff I'm working on. And now my day is done. I had a horrible dinner, I ate Shake Shack. It was so good, but I needed it. Like I needed a burger. And it was worth it, it really was. But now I'm about to take a shower and I'm about to call it a day. Cause it's been a day <sighs> and I'm tired. Also, we're gonna do some skincare. Okay, just got out of the shower. I literally have you guys sitting on toilet paper. The entire uh, sharing his game room bathroom while mine's under renovations. I'm gonna show you, you guys. You're on toilet paper on a basket on the counter. You're gonna fall at any minute. Anyways, I really wanted to try out this Ula Henriksen Toning Dry Body Oil. It says you just put some on your skin and you're done. Oh, I didn't realize it was this greasy. It said dry body oil. Oh my God, I'm greasy. Whoa. Okay, so this is like a body, actual body oil. Got it. Um, I used way too much. Actually, I don't know. I'm pretty greasy, I'm not gonna lie. I also wanted to try, maybe I'll try it on the other arm. Their body beam cream is a body moisturizer with caffeine. Okay, we'll try this arm. Oh, this feels really, really nice. Really, really nice. Their body line is nice. Dry oil is like, mm, it's actually pretty oily as far as that goes, but this will be so beautiful. Like with a swimsuit or with an outfit, like glow. So I like it, it's just, 
knowing what it is. This was extra nice too. This body moisturizer. My face is so dry from the shower. I need to moisturize it. I pretty much used this whole entire tube of the Genesifique. This is a really good serum. Love a good serum. This glycolic acid is so strong. It burns my dry face, but it's really, really, really good. And I'm getting my skin used to it, but I'm not gonna use it tonight. I've been using my good all vitamin C cream, but tonight I'm gonna try out the Desi one. I've been using it under my makeup every day. I love a good vitamin C cream for the glow. I like trying out different skincare products, but I try to use the one that I'm using for a little while to get consistent with it so you can get the real benefit. I've been using some aloe de deodorant too. I normally don't put it on right before bed, but we're going to tonight. I like um, the native deodorant and I've really been enjoying the aloe one as well. This is almost gone. I'm just trying to use the rest of it and I did actually enjoy it a lot. The Total Repair from Kate Somerville. It smells so good. They put on you, they put this mask on you in their salon and this smells just like that mask. It smells so good. Also in the summertime, my skin gets really oily and I do get more breakouts than in the winter. So I like a lighter moisturizer. And that's part of the reason I'm using this. And the other part is because I ran out of my Estee Lauder. Their night cream, it's so good. I'm gonna brush my teeth and then I'm gonna add this Tatcha lips lip product. All right, I just got dressed. I'm gonna add a little bit of eye cream from Lancome. I also been enjoying, I just got from New York, the Ula Henriksen vitamin C one with no fragrance in it. And that one's really good. It's like a great brightening one. And we all need a little brightening on our under eyes, so that. And then like once all this settled in, if you have really sensitive skin to a retinol, you can apply it on top of your moisturizer, mix your moisturizer in to dilute it. This one from Glossier is really mild of a retinol and it's, more on the affordable end of retinols. So sometimes I'll put this on top of my skincare. That extra oomph. Typically I've gotten my skin pretty used to them so I will put it before my moisturizer but for tonight's sake we're gonna. On top, I have a bunch of retinols that I like we can deep dive into in another video but I wanna add my lip product and then move on to hair. I gotta take my nails off tonight so that's next on my agenda cause I'm getting them done on Saturday for my shoots, but I gotta get them done neutral because that's what I need for my shoots. I like to take a wet brush and brush my hair out and I start at the end so I'm not ripping out any hair and just really work my way up. But because I just washed it, my hair normally brushes out like pretty easy. You guys were cracking up in my last vlog on my little ear covers for hair dye. Is that not hilarious? It's like a shower cap for your ears. <laughs> they're so cute and tiny. I got them off Shein and they're very useful. When I bought them, I was like, is there ever gonna be a use for this? And then it was good for my piercing and it was good for whenever I dye my roots. So that really worked out. This really came in handy. I get a little dramatic with my hair, especially when I want it to be silky the next day. I'll show you what I put in it. Like, let me show you. And then I try to let my hair air dry a little bit before I blow dry it so that way I'm not putting too much heat on it. But as long as I hit it with the blow dryer before it fully dries. Guys, this is a wreck I wanna show. I can't find anything I'm looking for. I cannot find my Ken Relieving Conditioner. But let me just show ya. This is why I can't find it because this is what I'm living out of. And I can't find anything, but this is not the only mess. There's a mess, there's a mess, here's another mess. Do you see why I can't find anything? The thing is, there's no point in me going through all this stuff. I think one of my, oh, here's my retinol. I'm not proud of that disaster, but it's what I've been living out of. This, please focus, there we go. That's another, this is a strong retinol. But I'm not gonna organize it because I'm moving back into my main bathroom probably in like two weeks and I'm just like, don't wanna organize it twice. I mean, I definitely could go through it, you know, and do a little something there. I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna like, let it be. So I've literally been using this leave-in conditioner. I almost don't have too much of it left, but I've been using this because I cannot find anything. So I'm just like using what I can find at this point. But anyways, this one's my way. It's a good one. It's like a good old classic, but I've been enjoying that new Kenra one. I mean, it's not new for Kenra, it's new for me. So I hit my hair with a little bit of this. And then I'll add a little bit of the Wow Dream Coat. Anti-humidity! My hair is so fine. 
It loves to get really nice and frizzy. So this is good for that. And then lastly, I'll add just like truly a dab of this on the ends of my hair. Truly a dab. Just gonna, you know, put it in the ends. I know it's kind of a dramatic hair routine, but you know, I'm a little dramatic, so it's perfect for me. And this is gonna get that hair really silky. And then I'll just give it a quick blow dry, like a rough dry. Okay, now we are done. My hair is just a little bit damp still, so it'll dry naturally, but I think it looks nice and fresh. I love it, and it'll be super, super sleek tomorrow. I just got done blow drying it, so a little wild, but it'll calm down tomorrow. I also like to go ahead and set that part in, even though my part's always a little crooked because my hair is like all over the place. Good night, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, happy Friday. I'm on the way to my office right now. Next week's gonna be so crazy. I keep watering, oh my God. This Friday to get everything together, dot our I's, cross our T's for a shoot next Tuesday because I have a photo shoot also next Monday that I'm doing. So it'll be two days in a row photo shooting. It's gonna be hellacious. But that's why I've prepped and filmed a lot of content this week so I'll be able to take Monday and Tuesday to shoot. But and it's for two separate projects that I'm shooting next week, so it's gonna be really chaotic. That's why I've gotta go get my nails done so they'll look appropriate for the shoot because I have like flames on them and that's like not the vibe I'm gonna be going for for the shoot. So going up to my office, going to run through a couple things, drop off some stuff that's gotta be turned in, and then I'm going to get my nails done for the shoot next week. My appointment was on Saturday, but luckily she was able to change it to today because I really didn't wanna spend my Saturday going out to get my nails done because the place I go is like not close to my house at all and I also just ripped off my pinky nail so I don't know how they're gonna fix that but it's a wreck the pinky nail is a wreck I know this is gonna be painful if she's able to put a nail on top of it if not I'm gonna be posing like this I don't know the pinkies everywhere maybe just this hand I'm dropping off some samples back to the lab that are actually officially approved Thank God our holiday is approved 100%. So I'm going to drop off the signed samples. My girls are going to mail it to the lab. I'm just dropping it off at my office. And then I got to go through um, the items that we are launching because I'm going to model some of it and then I've hired models. And so the stuff that I'm going to model, I need to go ahead and start pulling other items to match with it. It's just a lot that goes into these little things. And then I went, yes, this morning and bought some snacks to refill our podcast room with. So, because we're out of snacks up there. And when we block shoot, we're up there for five to six hours and like burning a lot of energy on the pod. So we need snacks. So I try to keep that stock. So our podcast is our upstairs office. So at my office, we have a whole downstairs layer and then an upstairs layer. And we like let the upstairs layer be the uh, podcast space so I just got to refill that so a couple things I got to do it's super busy Friday and then tonight I'm going out I'm going out with the girls and the gays actually I'm the only girl but <laughs> me Gabriel Daniel and Manny are going out to eat at pump which is a really cute restaurant I don't know if you guys have ever watched Vanderpump Rules the reality show um, the restaurant pump that's what we're going to eat we always stop by there and eat whenever we go out in West Hollywood because it's in the middle of all the clubs out there so we're gonna go out to eat there and then we're gonna pop into a little club for just a minute or two if grandma aka me is with them like i'm home by 2 a.m which that sounds late but it's early <laughs> it's early in the world of going out in la <laughs> so all of that is happening today but as soon as i get my nails done i plan on coming home tapping in a few emails we we celebrate summer Fridays in the world of social media meaning everybody clocks out early on Fridays or like kind of doodle daddles for work on Fridays here it's called summer Fridays unfortunately at my office today there will be no summer Fridays we're like because we have this launch happening and then next Friday is gonna be crazy too but I'm excited you know all good stuff happening so I'm like do I even have gas one of my tires is going flat I think it's because of the heat you guys it's like hundred degrees for the past three days and I'm not being facetious like truly like 100 105 crazy but I'm just trying to get my shit together that's all I'm trying to do I forgot to 
key to the office. Luckily, my girls will be there. They can let me in. I always forget a key. I need to get another key made because I had it on my car key ring, but then someone lost their key, so I gave them mine, and now I don't have one, and it's just complicated, to say the least. The nails are done. We went with the ombre, ombre nude. Very pretty, very classy, which is perfect for a photo shoot. You guys, I was 30 minutes late to my nail appointment. 30 minutes, and they're so sweet. They were like, it's fine, but the 134 here was completely closed down because someone set the trees on fire by the freeway, so the fire department was closed down the entire part of the freeway to get there, which added 30 minutes to my trip. And by the way, traffic's the worst here on Fridays in LA, so a nightmare, a true nightmare. Um, so I sat in traffic for an hour and 30 minutes to get nails done. An hour and 30 minutes for nails. It doesn't make sense. It's like my day. And now I'm about to drive home, finally. But I had to go to this nail appointment. I was so happy they still let me because of my shoot. And I, like I really didn't need to miss this because my hands will be in the shoot. So I'm so happy they were so chill about it. They told me I'm on time every single time that I come there or early. So they were like, we're gonna let you come. And that's on being on time when you can be. You know, I actually plotted out enough time for me to get there and like grab a bite to eat before I went. And it ended up being 30 minutes late because of the freeway incident. But sometimes you just can't predict it, you know? You just can't predict it. We're out of here. We are out of here. So now I'm headed home and then I'm going to chill for, I think, I'll get to chill for like an hour and a half and then I'm going to start glamming. Oh, I didn't realize it was dark. I'm going to start glamming. I'm going to do a little glam. I got some makeup I have to test out because I'm working on a project for spring 2023 and the samples came in and I used them once already but and and they're a good they're great they're really good but I want to obviously use them a few times before I give a go-ahead on a couple of the shades and stuff so tonight's perfect because I'm glamming for tonight so I can get that done while glamming and get a couple of approvals in the works I'm going down a parking tower if you're wondering why it's so odd the lighting Hopefully, I won't hit all that traffic coming back because I'm hoping that I'll be able to breeze through. You know, that they'll have everything open back up and good to go. We'll see. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And we're off. We're headed home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just do that's fact and I don't feel no shame. It's a mood you lack. I go crazy. Nah, but I ain't lazy. Would it be a Laura Lee vlog if we weren't at the beach? We're at the beach. I look like a little wet rat. A wet rat. How was your date? They want to follow up. Um, it went really well. I've been on a couple more dates with this guy, so. Are you still talking to him? I am. And you're moving away for college? Yeah. Wild. Tyler doesn't actually approve of me talking to this guy. I don't not approve. I just. Oh, he doesn't approve, baby. I just think that you should go into college being a single girl. Yeah. I've talked about it with the guy. Like, let's not put a label on it. Let's just have fun. Love it. And there you have the update. They're still talking. It's not serious because she's moving away. And that's that, right? That's that, I guess. I mean, that's really all too. Thank you for your interview, Aaron. Thank you. Tyler, any last final comments? Um, nothing, honestly. He is nothing. Just enjoying the day on the beach. Okay. Making crop circles in the beach, I see. Taking selfies at the beach, I see. Welcome to LA. Let's see what she's got. Oh, you changed phone cases? Um, because my other one broke. Let's get you a case to five phone case. All right.
They got cute ones. I just wanted to report in that we're playing Skip Buzz. It's like our favorite game to play on the beach. Or the, this is our favorite game to play at the house. Yeah. And I'm kicking their ass. We've never played at the beach. Kicking yeah. our ass. I'm kicking their ass. You kind of are. Low key. Low key, low I'm gonna key. make a comeback though. No! up the stairs in my house <sighs> can't breathe it doesn't matter how many times I've walked up the stairs every time I do it I'm like <sighs> now I'm going to straighten up my closet and then pull a couple things for the shoot tomorrow that I need to bring with me so I'll be prepped and ready for that and then I'm gonna try to chill out a little bit and then tonight I'm gonna edit this vlog and hopefully get it up for you guys early next week let me show you what I need to put up these are the clothes that I've like pulled for stuff this week and worn this week. This is where I've made a mess when I was getting ready to go out on Friday night. These are the fragrances we get rid of. I've gotta get a little bag and put them in. I'm gonna do that. I gotta find a place for these hats. I'm gonna straighten up here. Oh, here I am. Hi guys, this outfit is from Amazon. It is the purple workout outfit and I mentioned it in one of my videos and I really like it. It's super comfy. I'm gonna straighten up here, straighten up this. Straighten up this. This is stuff that comes from other areas in the house. I just throw it right there. So my bathroom, I'm sneak peeking the floors. I can show you guys way more, but I want to show you it when it's completely done so you get the full vibe. But I am obsessed with this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous flooring. So pretty. The color, the tone, the texture of the stone, everything is it's what I dreamed of. Very excited for this. You guys know I've been waiting forever, but I'll show you more later. What you been doing? Mm, pretty girl. What have you been doing? Everybody thinks Joe she's a boy whenever they meet her. But she's not a boy. She's a girl. Oh, look at that booty. Babe, it's 100 degrees. I can't let you out there. I'm sorry. No, it's not happening. She loves going out there, but I'll let her go out at night and like peek around. Yeah, she doesn't understand that this these tiles will literally burn her little feet. She doesn't understand, no. I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> She's like a little dog. In the cooler months, I let her out during the day. She loves laying in the uh, chair up there. I have like a blanket for her and she loves laying there, but she doesn't like understand in the summertime. That balcony gets like probably like 120 degrees. I'm telling you, like majority of the plants I've put up there have just burned to a crisp. I can't have Miss Ma'am out there. You're a spoiled domesticated cat. You won't survive. this outfit out I showed you guys back in my New York vlog but I just wore the top for the podcast it was so cute I like wore it with a black skirt and, like a black over jacket very cute but I'm gonna put it back I try to pair my outfits whenever they come together in sets so that way whenever I'm looking whenever I'm looking for something to wear like I get inspo by like this being in a pair like maybe this you know what I mean a ton of questions on these shirts this one's from Aritzia and then this one's from Abercrombie very cute love little pattern shirts for summer i wanted to show you guys this drawer this is like my fun shirt drawer so i tried to organize them and so i can just go through and see everything i have which this is helpful but then this side some of my new stuff from white fox that i'm gonna wear out and some stuff that just got washed so i do a bad job of putting stuff back sometimes i love going in this drawer and this is helpful because if i hung all this i would have no closet space so it's nice to be able to condense it because these really don't get wrinkled all these like corset like tops and tube tops they really don't have to be hung so love that drawer got this shirt i showed you guys actually on my main channel i bought it with aaron from ari and i wore it out in lake tahoe it's actually so cute i can't wait to wear this again all right guys my camera's dying but we got everything put away I'm also, I washed my nipple patches because I'm probably gonna need them for tomorrow. So they're drying. Let's put them in the sun. Now they're drying, gorgeous. But all the sections are straightened up and it looks so good in here. I'm about to light a candle because it's not clean until the last candle's lit. I'll catch you guys in my next vlog. I love you guys. Thank you for watching.